What up guys, this is your boy Marky Mark from Pinoy Balance. This is where we at, Pinoy Ball Culture. Here we are our very own OG super fan Monique. She led us into her room. This is where we get to see where everything really, who the real super fan is. So how you feeling Monique? Pretty good. Pretty good. Good to see you again. Like it's yeah. been how long has it been since we saw each other? It's been a while, right? A few months. A few months. So yeah. but a lot has happened since that. So mm -hmm. I wanna know what you've been up to, how have you been? I've been good. I've been doing interviews, mm -hmm. other interviews mm -hmm. uh, over the phone with Mark uh, Roach. Mm -hmm. So that's been keeping me busy. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I I've been celebrating the summer of being uh, NBA champions. Finally, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, talk to me through like the whole time because I haven't seen you since the playoffs have started to the championship. Talk to me what happened to you throughout that whole time from the playoffs started till we won the chip. What was your emotional story? What of course rather have been? Well, I, the main point was to bring Kawhi here mm -hmm. to, to Toronto to mm -hmm. win us a ch championship. Mm -hmm. I knew he was going to leave because mm -hmm. uh, it was a one-year rental, right? Mm -hmm. So when I heard the news, I was okay with it, but other fans were like disappointed like i was at home when we won the championship with the family with tears of joy in my f face mm -hmm. so uh, everyone was probably thinking of me at the same time while they were at oracle mm -hmm. right yes so, so i'm just like every other fan but in a different scenario right mm -hmm. to say i can't travel I'm at home with the family, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talk me through the last game when, you know, everything. I was there at game six when mm -hmm. I was at, at Jurassic Park. But talk to me what the day, what the night was like to you watching that game six where they finally won it. Like, from the beginning till the end, walk me through that night. Zero nine points mm -hmm. on the clock. Mm -hmm was a, a complete shock. Yeah. Why have me waiting for so long, yeah. right? Yeah, I was nervous, I was biting my nails, mm -hmm. and just like every other fan, right? Mm -hmm. So... When that buzzer hit, and... That's know. when the excitement came, <laughs> came on, so mm -hmm. I was really emotional, very happy. Mm -hmm. You could see it in my face, you could hear it, mm -hmm. yeah. Mom was uh, in the living room. <laughs> she ran mm -hmm. to see if I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Who was, I guess, to you, what was the thing that impressed you the most about the whole season for the Raptors? From the moment it started to how it ended, maybe to the playoffs. What was the thing that you were really, that you could remember the most, that you were most impressed about throughout that? Kawhi's 41 points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. and then, and I believe it was in Oracle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so once, once we have Kawhi on the court, it's it's like he could he's a animal on the court. So, like I I knew what to expect, mm -hmm. but like I said, we won the championship. <laughs> I'm so impressed with the fact that they really put it together. It was yeah. a team effort as good as Kawhi was, right? Kyle Lowry, 26 points. Yeah. yeah, like, he's not, it may not show on the stat sheet, but after that game, mm -hmm. you can't say anything to him. Either NBA championship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't bring him down or say anything like he done it for philly his hometown mm -hmm. he did it for toronto mm -hmm. he's gonna leave a legacy i think his jersey should be retired i, I agree yeah i totally agree with you um and you know i'm so happy that we get to hear mm -hmm. from you how you felt because i thought that you're one of the biggest fans for, of the raptors and we can see it through this room which is something that i really want to talk about yeah. before we get to any of them let's start with the the one that we have right here talk to me about this really awesome looking pillow i got it for my birthday wow. my 
th 30th birthday mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. from my aunt mm -hmm. and uh, I knew she was gonna make it but when I saw it it was like shocking because I knew people could make pillows like this but it's how they do it mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow may not be on the team yeah. but you could put any picture on the pillow Right. Of all the pictures that you have in the pillow, talk to me maybe to some of them. So we have Damar right there, right? Yeah. All right, who else is there? Oh, we have right here. Right. Talk to me through this experience that you had when you took this picture. We have Drake right there, guys. Yeah. We have Drake. OVO Bounce. OVO Bounce Drake. Wow. And I have Nick Nurse, NBA champion. Wow, you have Nick Nurse right there. Yeah. With Serge Ibaka. Yeah. Right, the Raptors mascot right there. Yeah. Wow. What else do we have here? We got, oh my God. I mean, talk to me about the fact that, you know, about the other stuff in your room. I also want to, whenever, let's see. Whenever I go to a game, mm -hmm. I, I get compliments about your passion. Mm -hmm. And I get every uh, souvenir at the game, as you could tell by my room, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. The rival towels and everything, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Talk to me about the championship side that you have here. The hat. Mm -hmm. I got that for my 31st birthday. I knew it was coming, uh, but it's how it was given to me. It was shock. I was shocked. Mm. Yeah. How was it given to you? By my brother. Wow, that's amazing. Mm, yeah. well, talk to me about the, uh, the championship uh, banner that you have right here and the photo of the Raptors. I seen it on social media and I framed it mm -hmm. and that's how it came out. Wow. You have a championship banner and then that one too. Talk to me about that one. That means a lot. Yeah. That picture right there mm -hmm. with the dates on it when we won each game, oh, that's a souvenir. Wow. That's amazing. That's a souvenir right there. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Talk to me about the jerseys that you have. So you have whose yeah. jerseys of players do you have? Kyle Lowry, uh, Kawhi Leonard, mm -hmm. uh, PJ Tucker. Mm -hmm. um, I have DeMar DeRozan mm -hmm. and um, the, Husky the Husky jersey. Husky jersey? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Talk to yeah. me how you got this big Toronto Raptors a flag right here. A friend of mine gave it to me. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's amazing. What about that Raptors claw? I got it for Christmas. You got it for Christmas? Yeah. Wow. What about this hat right here? The one that has Lowry jersey as well as vote for Lowry. Uh, because when I look at that picture and mm -hmm. Lowry's shirt, mm -hmm. that just says Kyle Lowry should remain a Raptor. Mm -hmm. When I look at that picture or that shirt. I like that hat right there. You have so many varieties of hats. I've never even seen some of the hats that you have. Yeah. I didn't even know they existed. <laughs> Are some of them custom made or is some of them like given? Was there some one of them given to you by someone memorable to you? Like, I normally buy them, but mm -hmm. once we go to the store and yeah. see, yeah, it don't matter what hat. Yeah, I will pick it up <laughs> and say, and just, "Here, I want this one." <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about that uh, poster right there of you that says the NBA, either that's the finals one, the Eastern finals, and the Lowry yeah. uh, poster along with the 2009 championship poster right there too. I got that a few days after they won the championship. Mm, yeah. Okay, okay. Wow, no, you have probably the, the craziest, rarest, most amazing collection in your room. Mm -hmm. And I'm so proud that we were able to do this. And, and you know, with regards to Pinoy Bounce, this is what we're all about. Checking out on-site ball culture. And Monique is the, the OG super fan that I can think of and probably one of the biggest ones you can ever find out there. But before we end the show, any last words that you want to say to fans out there or to people out there? Thanks for sticking with me. Um, keep following me on social media because there's much more to come on my account. Uh, you never know what I'm up to, right? So stay tuned. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that segment. And this is our show for tonight. 
Anything you guys want to say? Maybe in great last words to the fans out there. Hey guys, be sure to check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube at Pinoy Bounce. James, what do you got? Check out PinoyCrossover.ca. So check out new content and other stuff. Awesome. Any last words, Jamil, sir, fans? Any shout outs you want to make out there? Camera's over here for you. And thanks for having me, guys. Nice. Always nice talking hoops with you guys. Probably shout out uh, Ali Cab's favorite former Raptor, Jakob Pertl, San Antonio Spurs. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. Other than that, stay balling. Woo.